captain I yelled And lost all accounting of time Once a day they fed me an evil slop Tasteless starch, wet and gray Too crude to eat, my spirits dropped But I lived to tribunal day I was led into a great chiseled dome Judges and cloaks eyed my poor robes Said I could not do my business alone I had to find lodging with someone I know But I am a traveler, I had to cry I know no soul who lives in this place The judge looked up to catch my green eyes And silenced my wails with the cast of his face I slunk out to the marketplace A captain looked up as if he well knew My previous torture showed in my face If I didn't want more I should vacate his view I implored every stranger I saw But all just ignored my obvious pleas As curfew approached I fled those great walls Preferring to sleep in the damp with the fleas And here I return half starved and half drowned But never again will I leave To avoid all the evils of cities and towns Our rights should be followed to show we believe The old ways are best, this I have learned So bring out your sickle and robes just one sacrifice left, and favor is earned And once more our harvest will grow And once more our harvest will grow And once more our harvest will grow Now is the piper with homestead behind him Scratched at the horns that grew from his head Put hoof to the soil to travel and toil Deep into country or towns to paint red And he rolled down the road at a good steady pace To escape from the worries he'd left in that place Where piping caused fighting in mixed company And a sensitive bard, not a hoplite was he So head to the tower and strum your cathar For Thales the piper has come from afar To put each of us properly under the bar A carouser quite fit to be written in stars From outside the islands come many strange guests That a king or a lord may need to be set Hospitality dictates we must show respect And music and drinking are only correct Ladies whose property started great wars Might come for a holiday fleeing such bores So they might need an escort free from our moors A talented piper our court must implore So head to the theater and bring your cathar For Thales the piper has come from afar To put even this diplomat under the bar A carousal I'm sure to be written in stars up from the sea or in caverns below Older than legend, lost terrors grow Up to Olympus where the sacred we know Deserve at the least a good piping show True heroes adventure like furies obsessed Never to settle, to give up and rest Though keen enough bronze can solve many quests For Titan straight fight might not be the best So head to Olympus, we need your cathar For Thales the piper has come from afar To put even the titans under the bar A carousing that fate would see written in stars Head to Olympus, we need your cathar Thales the piper has come from afar To put even the titans under the bar A carousing that fate will see written in stars I 
night as we peer in Obsidian Hall. Fragments of refuse, chalky and white, surround the strewn bones by the sacrifice wall. Runes from a time too old to be known are carved in the green malachite. They show the first seeds Gaia gave to be sown To beast your progenitors in primeval light The surroundings are grave, but the wall stretches on And it tells how the first trees took hold To flourish for aeons before that red dawn Where dark brine and ruin brought horror untold There the script changes, jagged and raw As if a new hand went to carve Syntax is strange and follows no law. After that, any story is pieces and shards. Runes come to an end. The mural comes in and the sacrifice shown in detail. The cowled horned priests who brought the herd in. Marks on the bones show what that entailed. Our party is shocked. We back toward the door, but the portal is covered by bars. City and Hall comes to life with a roar. There stand druids with sickles and grotesque cathars. They strum out the notes that bring madness to bear. My comrades fell in with bare hands. Possessed and transformed by some curse in the lair. My friends were no longer quite woman nor man. Since then I've been trapped in this windowless cell. I cannot know why I was spared. I know I fear for my health I beg for my freedom I crave the fresh air Let me out, let me out Just open the door Please, my fair strangers Free me from this place I can't stand the howls That come from the floor Let me out, let me out Or I'll gnaw off your face Let me out, let me out Or I'll come for you all And take your dead bones to feed the great wall let me out, 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 let me out! The great skelly beast Stood and he faced the waters that burst from the dam. As he channeled his magic, the wall was replaced. He was blasted by cheers from town woman and man. And we gathered to thank the great sky for its gifts, for this gaudy and solid and strong. Rather than graves for our drowned goats and kids, our warden, he rose to protect us from wrong. He roamed far and wide with a party of legend. Many were saved, but his friends had to pay. He put sorrow aside and instead tried to mend. He looked for a village who had need of his ways. Any hole could be plugged with a stout and off cork. Any dike could be mended and smoothed. He'd help mighty and rich or the impoverished short. As he knew he was needed, his ravaged heart soothed. And we gathered to thank the great sky for its gifts, for this gaudy and solid and strong. Rather than graves for our drowned goats and kids, our warden he rose to protect us from wrong. For he came to our village, our backwater ditch, and he saw what great misery we kept. Our bedrock would constantly roil and shift, because of this curse we died and we wept. In our land he found holes that couldn't be plugged, and dams that couldn't be fixed. And he knew he was needed with a great portile shrug. He settled and now we can safely exist. And we gather to thank the great sky for its gifts, for this gaudy and solid and strong. Rather than graves for our drowned goats and kids, our warden he rose to protect us from wrong.
And we gather to thank the great sky for its gifts for this guardian solid and strong. Rather than graves for our drowned goats and kids, our warden he rose to protect us from wrong. Gather good people, the young and the old To hear of a traveler daring and bold He served in the wars in a great naval fleet With cudgel and girdle and wings on his feet They say he was born of a god or a nymph Left as a babe on a pedestal splint Only the blessed had such speed and such skill And never was seen a boy with more will Centaur and harpy cower in fear As our hero draws near foes ready their spears But he runs in with haste And they look on his face And see that his spirit is mocked by the face If he comes by a cyclops furious and red Who threatens to crush his bones into bread our hero Hero relies on the shape of his brain And attempts every parting with minimal pain He knows in the past these giants were tricked Robbed of their flocks, blinded with sticks He thinks for the grace of the gods stumble I So even to monsters he's humble and kind Centaur and harpy cower in fear As our hero draws near, foes ready their spears But he runs in with haste and they look on his face and see that his spirit is mocked by the fates. When the boy became man with chest toned and broad, he crafted a plan to find goddess or god that left him alone with such spirit and need. He beseeched the blind poet and followed each lead. So he came to the briny caves close to the sea and saw who had spawned his divine destiny. A twenty-limbed kraken with human-like hands, though he buckled in horror, he Soon understand Centaur and harpy cower in fear As our hero draws near Foes ready their spears But he runs in with haste And they look on his face And see that his spirit is mocked by the fates His sire or dame He wasn't quite sure Pointed him to a shallow pool Carved in the floor And he saw as he peered in that burbling ooze The truth of his birth was no longer confused And he knew that he must learn and come back and teach each of his siblings, whether tadpole or leech. And he knew why he feared not what old laws forbid. Things are less fearful when your mother's a squid. Squid! seals to hold us through have faith that the keel holds up on you put oar to the brine beat the drum double time this barge is a wreck but it must make do it's been barely a week since we left the safe harbor to rescue the sacrifice tied to the rock though we killed the sea snake a sailcloth was raked and the wind was too mighty to row back to dark. Put hope in the seals to hold us through. Have faith that the keel holds up on you. Put oar to the brine, beat the drum double time. This barge is a wreck, but it must make do. The strain will bring end to the rostrum and rudder fail to contend this murderous storm. We've got just one hope in this barrel of rope. Tie pillar to pillar, put shoulder to oar. Put hope in the 
seals to hold us through Have faith that the keel holds up on you Put o'er to the brine, beat the drum double time This barge is a wreck, but it must make do Though close, we must pass through the crushing stones That can render our ship into planks we have to go fast if we want to get past. Pull, look out, we need every rower in rank. Put hope in the seals to hold us through. Have faith that the keel holds up on you. Put on to the brine, beat the drum double time. This barge is a wreck, but it must make do. Put hope in the seals to hold us through Have faith that the keel holds up on you Put on to the brine, beat the drum double time This barge is a wreck, but it must make do Put on to the brine, beat the drum double time This barge is a wreck, but it must make do In a city of cowards, a shady man waits Ladies in powder selling off dates Sweet fruit for the harvest at excellent rates A man from the mountains looking for gold A plan hashed by the fountain for treasures of old Artifacts for the harvest by adventurers bold to the bay where privateers rest A captain to challenge and combat and best And a crew that wants more than just gold in a chest And these men have an excellent plan To ascend the dead hills where the step nomads dance And portend what they will from their drug-induced trance Protect innocence, capture to finish a plan By a sinister man who Works so he can talk to gods, never dying, but dreaming and scheming and trying to bring dust to the land. Run rugged, give all, there's lives on the line, roads flooded, give stall, but they strive through the brine, a pursuit to the tower, arriving on time. A road madman stands, dagger in hand, but can Withstand the mountainous man from the mountains who landed and ended the plans to bring old gods and chaos, turn castles to sand. They returned and commanded the gates to be sealed, renew the old deals, give the world time to heal, keep the gates locked and maintain the zeal for a world still in shock is an excellent meal for chaos and madness which must be repealed by trial and error and belief in the real. Enjoy our hospitality, our beds and bread and wine To sleep and heal our warmth, to feel and worship our divine Welcome here, my traveler, through rain or hazing sun To work or trade our fields or stalls and feast when evening comes Enjoy our hospitality, our breads and bed and wine. To feel at home, although you roam, is the gift of our divine. The roads are paved and safe to walk, guarded day and night. Scripts are saved to be read or taught, 
to know is its own delight. Enjoy our hospitality, our wine and breads and beds. Though you may leave, you'll always grieve for the life you could have here instead. Our walls are strong, our laws are fair, and they show us how to live. We all belong in each other's care, with just one life to give. Enjoy our hospitality, our sacramental wine. After one more night in the dead moon's light, you'll be born again divine. Heed a mother of water feeds the rivers, the brooks, and the springs. The naiads are her chosen daughters, and the sea god brings her corals and rings. Our cities were built with her blessing divine by shepherds who heard her burbling call. She showed how the heavens moved over time, and with practice we spread that knowledge to all. Anahira, mother of water, feeds the rivers, the brooks, and the springs. The naiads are her chosen daughters, and the sea god brings her corals and rings. The magi are nothing without river mother, but when learned travelers come from the west, they walk past the shrines and don't bathe in the water, instead rubbing grease on their faces and chests. Anahira, mother of water, feeds the rivers, the brooks, and the springs. The naiads are her chosen daughters, and the sea god brings her corals and rings. We humor the men who risk such far travel, who covered our secrets for their fine polity. Cities where women are locked up like cattle, and most of the men live in bare poverty. Anahira, mother of water, feeds the rivers, the brooks, and the springs. The naiads are her chosen daughters, and the sea god brings her corals and rings. We tell them the tales we reserve for such fools, easy to check with patience and time. But philosophers fail to harness such tools, preferring instead what sounds the most fine. Anahira, mother of water, feeds the rivers, the brooks, and the springs. The naiads are her chosen daughters, and the sea god brings her corals and rings. But you, my friend, are not such a stranger. You've heeded her call with clear heart and mind. Dive in the pool, push past the danger, and you'll share in peace as only we find. Anahira, mother of water, feeds the rivers, the brooks, and the springs. The naiads are her chosen daughters, and the sea god brings her corals and rings. Anahira, mother of water, feeds the rivers, the brooks, and the springs. The naiads are her chosen daughters, and the sea god brings her corals and rings. A place not known by men for years A place underground older than time or longer Growing in our terrors and our fears He played a golden lyre, had a voice of the stars He trekked the world by boat, moving near and far Blessed by the gods, 
thousands heard his voice The world moved when he made that fable choice He joined the ranks of a famous noble vessel Manned by a crew of fifty heroic men The son of a god, men who hunted and wrestled Some of which were never seen again He angered the gods and their vengeance slew his lover A deadly nest of snakes left her body cold Though he knew in his heart he could never love another And hatched a plan both foolish and bold he played a golden lyre, had a voice of the stars He trekked the world by boat, moving near and far Blessed by the gods, thousands heard his voice The world moved when he made that fable choice That would take him to the darkness under the earth Braving deadly perils and a guardian immense To prove to the king and queen his worth He moved their frozen hearts with his beautiful song They granted him to leave with his lover and wife If he didn't look behind as he traveled along They would restore her soul and her life he played a golden lyre, had a voice of the stars He trekked the world by boat, moving near and far Blessed by the gods, thousands heard his voice The world moved when he made that fable choice Ah, last curiosity proved to be his downfall He tried to steal a glance to see if the gods spoke true She disappeared in seconds with a sorrowed haunting call Just as the earth's green meadows were in view so who ends the tale of our brave and noble wanderer Who tried and failed to bring his love back to the sun The only chance to restore his true love he squandered And in that valley his life was undone Historicus stood and looked at his work, volumes of all of the lore on the earth, a lifetime of labor for his hoplites and serfs, all the servants and scribes his vast treasures could feed. He paged through the volumes that he couldn't read, his scribes had translated and sated his needs, but he knew that the books were the greatest indeed, or so he'd been told by his huddled elites. So he summoned his guard, and the wagon was leashed, and a score of apprentices gathered beneath, with their tablets appended to defend against grief, for their lord could bring praises or scolds. He hiked up his robe of linen and gold, and gazed at his consort who had dared to grow old. He heaved towards the wagon, and without being told, his caretakers moved in to help. But for once he deferred, he'd do it himself, though a noble well-bred, he was in perfect health, so he swung up his leg and missed, and he yelled and tried to grab on to his staff. But his bulk was too great, and he stumbled and crashed, and there on the ground, with his saged head cracked, as he lay there and faded, he sputtered and laughed, for once he had done his own work. came down from the hills and camped in the pond that sits mirror still spoke to the clod and the beak and the build and rejoiced for her life was fine out from the city came a sensual man sent out from the temple to act on a plan the queen of the city took with forceful hands any she wanted to share of her wine so the harlot he stopped and drank from the pool His throat clicked and locked 
to feel the bar crow The while the woman held up to his neck But he won out her mercy and asked her to rat Lie with me, woman, and put down your spear Let me take your sorrows and heartbreak and fears Take of my spirit, take all that you need My body is here to follow your lead after seven and seven vivid nights that they laid, the wilder woman grew newly afraid. The beasts were now fearful of her touch and her gaze, and she wept at what she had lost. The man saw her tears and softened the pain. He pulled out the beetles and moss from her mane. He spoke of the city and why he had came, and wept at what it had cost. So through two more weeks, they mingled and talked, wore threads into sandals with smooth river rocks, tanned hide of a lion for girdle and cape, and walked close together to the great gates. Come out, great queen, and find a true foe. Don't pilfer the husbands of your women folk. I lost to you humans my tie to the land So come out, dear monarch, and die by my hand And out came the queen, then a battle they clashed Ten seasons they grappled and throttled and lashed While they struggled, the city trained enforcers unmatched By the time they collapsed, the queen was dethroned after waking, both realized just what they had gained Finding another so strong and untamed They decided for glory in the great city's fame To rove and bring great riches home And they went on their journey, now etched in the stars The harlot was mournful and wandered afar And though his adventures are less widely known He would tell of his lover wherever he roamed she came from the mountain and sang like the birds A song of such beauty few mortals have heard Though our cities will grow to height yet unseen I mourn for the wilderness robbed of its queen Jewel to warm them at night. 
I watch the Sphinx leave and stare at my palm. Though her fortune held evil, my heart is still calm. After four nights of riddles and terrible tests, old questions were answered and air floods my chest. For leagues out to Stygia, the song could be heard over mountains and oceans echoed each word. After service and solitude as treasure or slave, I'd live in no harem, adorn no king's grave. Though I'm born from the stars and I walk on the wind I still have to hobble through sorrow and sin Creatures and vagabonds swarm for my light to keep like a jewel to warm them at night Though I'm born from the stars and I walk on the wind I still have to hobble through sorrow and sin Creatures and vagabonds swarm for my light to keep like a jewel to warm them at night I the red pulse and glow when the hammerheads blow Our destiny pulled from the ground With four crucibles cracked and our calamine brass No longer will we be held down Well, the fates may decree that we speak blasphemy When we choose to be free of their web but our sisters deny that we have to die For the sins of the heaven-cursed dead Rise against the heaven set to keep us meek and low The lies that warped our hooves and skin have kept us down below As if it was hubris to want to be fed Put clothes on our children or sleep in fine beds If gods were so great, we'd already be dead Our people have paid more than you know So we bided and planned and brought in more hands We had spies in the ranks of their priests Over oceans and sands we reached foreign lands And readied ourselves to rise from beneath the forest came and clashed in our name. Cunning cowled cowards fled their great stones. The triumphant remained and new kingdoms were laid by the victors who'd won their new homes. We rose against the heaven sent to keep us meek and low. We know that with their evil spent our kingdom will still grow. Though they came from outside, they helped us to be free. To mold and to shape our own destinies To watch the old gods turn tail and flee Our people have won more than you know Necks are all craned to leer at the race A poor urchin girl selling fruit from a sack A spectator eats, the juice smears his face Back on the track, a horse's leg breaks The chariot flips and screams can be heard The crowd is excited and for the show's sake The other contestants each race undeterred is this why we quarried the stone? 
to build massive temples to our new divine. The keystones were laid by people alone. No creatures but us built this great chiseled shrine. My head starts to ache as the ritual starts. I pray to the goddess of wisdom and rhyme. The words leave my mouth with an ache in my heart. I drone with dull tone each scripted line. Though I witnessed ascension and healings. And I've lived enough time to know what we've gained. As my years grow greater, so does the feeling. No goddess of wisdom would sanction these games. Is this why the old theaters fell? Were cook fire stories so savage and poor? Without teaching the past, how can we tell if it's monster or goddess that we supplicate for? The forums are filled with chaos and blame, and many have gathered our help to beseech. The soldiers take bribes, and without any shame, they threaten the farmers, dismiss them as weak. So the polity riots, and I have to agree, though I've spent my whole life under vows. If my goddess exists, she's blind to our needs. Nothing holy or mortal will keep us low now. This is how we'll drive our fate. No out-of-touch gauntlet will again be revered. We'll raise our own people who have proved themselves great. And never again will we bow to our fear. from the muscle, gobbled the meats and smiled and thought of the tubers and greens he had rustled to roast up with beets and steep in a sauce. For days he had wandered and wondered, pondered and plundered, larders for lard, but he pondered too hard and hungered again, and so he restarted his feast without end. He napped in the bristles while whistled by bolts and other such missiles, launching or logged some battle or siege or bloody revolt. He finished his meal and started to nod. After so brief a nap of hardly a day, he awoke in a red battlefield. He thought of the visceral waste and decay, but just for a minute then looked for a meal. For weeks he had wandered and wondered, pondered and plundered, larders for lard, but he pondered too hard and hungered again. And so he restarted his feasts without end. Well, something had always confused him Others abused him, but he just didn't bleed Or let in the spear tips to puncture his skin He wondered why others felt such want and need If you really love life, do like him, just don't die Maintain your musk and deeply breathe in He tried to tell folk, just refused to comply If a psychopomp visits, send him to kin For years he had wandered and wondered Pondered and plundered, larders for lard But he pondered too hard and hungered again And so he restarted his feast without end For years he had wandered and wondered Pondered and plundered, larders for lard But he pondered too hard and hungered again And so he restarted his feast without end Before he reached the town, oh, 
He ran till he came to a great big pen And the ducks and the geese were kept there And said a couple of you are gonna grease my chin Before I leave this town, oh, town, oh, town, oh A couple of you are gonna grease my chin Before I leave this town, oh Then he grabbed the gray goose by the neck He threw the duck across his back And he didn't mind the quack, quack, quack And the legs all dangling down, oh, down, oh, down, oh He didn't mind the quack, quack, quack And the legs all dangling down, no. Oh. Flippa jumped out of bed Out of the window she cocked her head Crying, John, John, the great goose is gone And the fox is on the town, oh Town, oh, town, oh John, John, the great goose is gone And the fox is on the town, oh To the top of the hill He blew his horn Both loud and shrill The fox he said I better flee with my kill Or they'll soon be on my trail Oh, trail, oh, trail, oh The fox he said I better flee with my kill Or they'll soon be on my trail Oh, and he ran Till he came to his cozy den There were the little ones Eight, nine, ten Said daddy, daddy Better go back again For I must be a mighty fine town Oh, town, oh, town, oh Daddy, daddy Better go back again For I must be a mighty fine town Oh, Wife without any strife, cut up the goose with a fork and a knife. They never had such a supper in their life, and the little ones chewed on the bones. Oh, bones, oh, bones, oh. They never had such a supper in their life, and the little ones chewed on the bones. Oh, monuments cast. In long crumbled molds, they tower above with the hatreds of old. Metal that withstood erosion and age needs to fall now to answer our rage. The statues were cast in the flames of dark hate when dragons still ravaged our lands. It reminds of a past we must reformulate, so grab up the rope, hold it tight in your hands. We'll pull down the statues that stalk through our dreams Delivering nightmares and continent screams We hide till the dawn to hold through the night So join with us, brother, in our holy fight Smash down the statues that hunt for our flesh Bring down the hammer, our quest has been blessed By wizened albinos that rule from their homes and with the walls of impassable stone What do we want, book burnings To answer our yearnings The past must be cleansed And never forget Our final regret Was none of us ever had any real friends So move now, my comrades My partners in crime Although we are weak By mobbing we'll find We number enough we can force them to see what power can come from a master's degree. Smash down the statues that hunt for our flesh. Bring down the hammer, our quest has been blessed by wizened albinos that rule from their homes in mansions with walls of impassable stone. Two, four, six, eight, we'll have no debate. This matter too dear to come to a vote To fight for our rights, we come in the night To sever their heads from their evil bronze throats Smash down the statues that hunt for our flesh Bring down the hammer, our quest has been blessed By wizened albinos that rule from their homes Mansions with walls of impassable stone Mansions with walls of impassable stone And mansions with walls of impassable stone In 1893, Hawaii had a democracy But we fixed that over through the Queen So we'd have place to grow coffee beans Join hands with me and sing along The words to our people's imperial song A paradise we took for free To instate the planter autocracy So get on the board and come on by See the apple of the Pentagon side Eleven bases, fifteen billion a year That will keep us safe, my dear So mahalo aleha, maloha 
salam Come and tell me when the party's on If you're a bit chubby, well don't you frown Our most famous singer weighed 600 pounds So before the sea rises and brings its doom And traps us in this ashy tomb Take a jet plane here, go for a whirl See the last green grass of a dying world So mahalo akbar, you know it's haram To skip the loo, I want a ramadan As Kamehameha himself used to say You got a jihad, the aloha way Mahalo akbar, you know it's haram To skip the loo, I want a ramadan As Kamehameha himself used to say You got a jihad, the aloha way You got a jihad, the aloha way you got a jihad, you got a jihad, you got a jihad, the Aloha way. When I was quite young and old songs could be sung, they told us how we used to brave the harsh light. But we had to run to hide from the sun For our hubris had earned us this pit-dwelling blight And our leaders were learned in all the old rites When they gathered to leave We prayed that they might bring us back news From the world of outside Untrained and unguided our folk had to hide our minders would smile, heads up with pride As they put on their blinders, one on each side To block and to shade them from frightening rays To bring us back stories to lighten our days In the cavern we'd sit, young to the old After hours in the pit, breathing in mold For the ore that they'd break from the load Which was packed by our minders and crates which then rode up a lift through a shaft dug deep in the past up to the surface pitted and blasted where slobbering mutants would take up their prize a deal we must hold with the folk we despise this bargain was struck many decades ago when I was a babe in a crib these bandits had threatened our city below If we had nothing precious to give Our protectors then earned their glorious place Taking the burden so we could stay free Since then they protected and herded our race And give shows on the wall of the cavern to see the things from outside they project from a light that beams from a channel bored out of high shadows from puppets darker than night dance on the wall and we learn what and why happens out there and why the gods act as perpetual scholars the minders know facts like the size of the earth 30 miles by nine how you judge a man's worth by reading his mind and we drink of the tea steeped by our gods to protect us from fiends like the moon and the stars i know that the minders are folk just like me and i wonder what sights sit under the sky just once for myself to help me believe to be sure of the what and to know all the why so i'll wait till the shadow show's finished strap moss to my feet and dull my footfall and then late with a light fully diminished and a ration of meat i'll climb up that wall well, I know that the minders wouldn't tell lies And I don't want to burn in the glare Though I go without blinders to shade my weak eyes I'm sure they won't put out in one second stare So up I ascend into the old land My friend, I'll return to you soon I'll tell tales of the waste and hold in my hand A piece that I'll tear from that devilish moon
Who is like God who treads on the sod and pushes the plow like a surf? And how do you know the seeds that you grow as you scratch for a place on this earth? The cards that he grips with a smile on his lips as you ponder your ponderous plays. Games won one by one until evening has come. There's no time, as you heard the man say. And who is like God who worries and plods but pushes ahead through the dark? Because others need help and he still has his health And at times life still feels like a lark You watch his hand stretch halfway down the neck As he strums, oh you wonder and hear Each note meet the next as pulled from the frets Tied to a heartbeat and played just as clear And who is like God who smiles and nods As his friends gather round him and say You bind us like glue And we wish that you could come back and talk to us every day Pupils and peers gather to hear As he speaks to the crowd from his chair Scruples held dear can conquer our fear Music is needed as much as air And who is like God or a bean in your pod Who listens and knows that you care And he wonders how you write the words that you do But you both know who helped you prepare And who is like God who treads on the sod And pushes the plow like a surf and how do you know the seeds that you grow as you scratch for a place on this earth? From the uplands on a misty day He said that he came to deliver us from The dark animal gods that had led us astray By demanding the gift of an innocent's blood Ride to the south, our just king And carry your banner proudly On your return we will sing to greet your triumph loudly He carried the light and remembered the word But respected the rule of the rod from up high Until one dark day his faith was disturbed Though given his orders he could not fathom why The priest of the rod said a town was enthralled By our most evil craven and treacherous foe Though the hero sent missives and attempted to stall He was ordered to raise the town much to his woe Though his faith was quite strong, his devotion was true The hero could not carry his orders through So he laid down his arms and prayed in retreat Living off nothing but water for weeks Until he emerged to bring truth and hope And he mounted his horse and rode off to the pole Ride to the south, our just king, and carry your banner proudly. On your return we will sing to greet your triumph loudly. He rode till he came to the high papal keep and barged into the rooms of the Pope fast asleep. Grabbed rod, frock, and crown threw them down at his feet where he shattered their power to cower the weak he rode back to the uplands on a misty day having rescued the light from its keepers and firm to tell folk how to live or to think or to pray a king lives to serve respect must be earned ride to the south our just king and carry your banner proud 
friendly On your return we must sing To greet your triumph loudly Camilla was sweet and pale as the petals of flowers that bloom under light of the moon. She knew poetry and songs and dances and riddles, but felt cursed with the weight of an impending doom. Because she had seen the way others were treated The plain-looking girls and most of the boys They were challenged and bullied and crushed and defeated But Carmella got nothing but affection and toys She knew that she had to evade this dark fate Of being treated like a most precious object she knew to escape before it was too late The shape of our future was hers to protect So she got some black ink and a few safety pins Before she could rethink She stabbed through her skin after only an hour Though the pain made her cry She had etched in the outline of a crude butterfly When her folks saw her arm they were stunned and confused They thought that they must be to blame but their pleas went unanswered, their help was refused For she sought to start living without beauty and shame Baggy clothes and short hair and a new way of talking Drop eyes from their unconscious search Less polite manners, a swagger when walking All can be managed if you rehearse But she'd wonder sometimes, was she losing herself? Was she forcing a change for a shot at fair terms? But she wanted meaning, not comfort and wealth So she had just one shot and her ambition burned Carmilla got glimpses of what she surrendered in the lives that her female friends led. Babies by thirty, puffy and tender, husbands that worked to keep them overfed. The passing of time seemed unkind to her friends. They told her that something had changed. Special patients and treatments had come to an end Strangers were acting distressingly strange But Carmella didn't notice too much of a change Turtlenecked with a stately mustache Her dealings with peers, old and new, stayed the same If she needed assistance, she just had to ask as an elder, Carmella would often reflect On a life so impactful and strange She chose her own terms to accept or reject A grizzled old witch, not a porcelain dame Because most flowers bloom for just a few days While rootstocks and thorns make longer stays So hours spent learning and building our mind Can provide for those folk fate or chance leave behind Carmella never mourned for the life she had led Or felt that her work was a waste She'd work to propel her whole people ahead And focused much less on having the prettiest face Crystal balls and hair of the darkest mystique Grins with violet painted lips approaches me and speaks She shares her name as 
as I do mine With gestures plain and sweet Then tells me she's a Capricorn I ask her what that means With your birth date and sign The stars in the skies Reveal answers clear as the day Cosmic creations and sound explanations Give reason for how we behave to show how this could be so how this method so ancient and wise could judge people's fate while the stars constellate if those stars have all shifted since babylon's time it's more likely to me that a man's personality is shaped not by auras and space but by family and friends and the way that he spends his days navigating this place Annoyed with me, the girl concedes That proof is not what she needs The accuracy of the words that she reads Are enough to make her believe Yet I insist these predictions of character come Purposely common and vague It matters not when you're born With a Libra or Capricorn The gurus that spew them ensure they'll relate of our lives need not be obscured in such ways. The thoughts that we spread can afford to be read by mystics and robbed of their grace. The girl only stared surprise that I dare to question these feelings she's felt yet my sympathy sways as she traipses away off to go bore someone else Farewell, brother of mine I hope the fortunes favor you It's all as well, we'll probably do fine Now that the junta has pulled off their crew And grandma and uncle Jose Grow more dependent every day So though it be swell to flee our poor hell People the feet while you run away Abandon the place you were born It's too risky, unstable, and war-torn You went to our schools, but you're no simple fool Just leave us to cry and to mourn Well, they are no so trust, dear brother of mine You forced me to beg and to plead Our children are living on gristle and rind well, the general gets what the general needs Bread lines are starting to form People push past the old and the weak We don't know whether to search or to mourn For those disappeared while we were asleep And still I feel I can't go For all the dependents I know so though it be swell to flee our poor hell Go run to the people who buy what we grow Leave us here to bleed and to cry While secret police question and pry Notebooks, recorders, and state-owned reporters For any new question they tell a new lie Well, they are no so trust, dear brother of mine You've left us to fight for our lives Government bandits are drinking our wine They torture our husbands in prison all While you run, we make plans And we bide our time We strike while we can Make them pay for their crimes And after we've won, you can let your kids know how many were gunned 
down to bring back the vote. Well, they are no so thus as the Rasa Salvo. Now that the trouble has fled, we'll meet you at the airport, help carry your load. Turistas are safe. Now that the dictator's dead. I want a big white nut, a flat spruce gut, a board that shakes for days. I want a quick, fast drum to get me some with my wild old cowboy ways. I want a thick old strap and a gunny sack to bring my guitar along. I want a big old girl to roll my world and watch me write my songs. And I'll be strumming and coming all over this town. And you'll be stricken by my picking when I finally come around. There ain't no thing like the wild twang that'll pull me to my feet. And a big barn dance and a hay romance in that hazy summer heat Once you be what you want to be and have done the same with C All the cocks and hens come home to brood and roost Eventually you remember how I strummed and I flubbed up notes and chords And we'll fucking shit and grin and spit cause it sure beats being bored I'm a big man child with a stupid smile and I can't dress worth a damn Like the crop of a kosher farmer, I am what I am but I seldom think while I swill my drink That it is too much a shame Because I see who's been leading me And they're about just the same And I'll be fretting and wetting all over this town And I'll be too dumb to notice if I end up in the pound I was born to drink until my eyes close one final time And if I do it in front of you, at least I fucking rhyme The boy with the crooked nose Put down his book and rose Walked gladly to greet with no shoes on his feet The old man who swept out the streets After scarcely a mile the boy had to smile When he saw the old fool sit on a stool Lecturing ethics to birds on the street Harsh edicts would greet any fowl who'd meet His off-balance stare for more than a beat after he'd heard enough shaming of birds, the crooked nose boy came to the old man to ask of old legends or gossip he'd heard, and they spoke like conspirators sharing a plan. With an uneven grin, the man started to spin a retelling of heroes who traveled by ship. But the boy made a face, so the tales were replaced with accounts of how tyrants had tightened their grip on the city they lived in and expected to die. The boy wanted more, he had to know why. With patience explaining each pertinent fact, the elder reclined and made a soft moan. In habit, his hand grasped the spot on his back. He said, souls may not end, but this body is on loan. And they'd walk past old forums that now were just fields Where laws were once drafted and cases appealed And each held a share of laws, creation and care To ensure to all people the rules 